sporadic shooting at Imo State Secretariat as workers scampered for safety. There was pandemonium on Thursday at the Imo State Secretariat along Wari Airport Road as Skakanto gunshots ran the air, sending civil servants scampering for safety. An eyewitness said some officers of the Nigerian Police Force NPF stormed the secretariat and whisked away some persons. A Facebook user, Mr. Don Oba, who narrated the incident as an eyewitness on his Facebook account, reported that the police officer whisked away a director of accounts and a permanent secretary at the block five of the secretariat, which accommodates the Civil Service Commission, the Local Government Service Commission, and the Bureau for Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs, BLCA. According to him, the identity of those weeks away has not been verified. He wrote partly, many wondered why the police would come to arrest alleged suspects in a commando lifestyle. Even as others thought, there will be kidnappers disguising as police officers since they were on police jackets. Confusion trailed their operations as people wondered why they would be shooting unnecessarily when they could have easily taken away the suspect without causing pandemonium. Fear also gripped many as it was thought unknown gunmen may have attacked the Secretariat. Recall that gunmen attacked the Nigerian Correctional Center, Oweri, and the Imo State Police Command last Easter Monday without proper investigation. Thereafter, the immediate past Inspector General of Police, Adamu Muhammad, accused the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra Ipok of being responsible for the attack. He was removed last Wednesday, even while he was still on a working visit to Oweri, Imo State, Mr. Opa Road. Effort to confirm the incident from the Police Public Relations Officer, PPRO, Imo State Police Command, SP Orlando Ikioku, was full time. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, they now make use of our Nigerian police to commit all kinds of fraud. All kinds of fraudulent practice. That is what they use our Nigerian police to commit now. Our Nigerian police are now a corrupt tool used to achieve corrupt objective. That is what they are now. Can't you, what has just been said now may be possible that the people truly are not police officers because what they are putting on is a police jacket. Look at what happened during the arrest of um, Joy Nuni, the former manager of NDDC. When they came, the, 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 the police officers came, even these ones came on Mufti to join Nunes resident to arrest her very early in the morning to go be the glory I don't know who called um, Nisun Wike immediately as they are about whisking her away Nisun Wike entered the compound of uh, Joy Nune and all that the immediate bring bring back of Joy Nune and asked the police officers who ordered for his arrest they couldn't talk they became confused they started beating and biting their tongues. They just can't. Immediately, Nissan Wiki dismissed the police officers out of Joy Nune's compound and asked them to release Joy Nune. My dear, we just need to be watchful. We just need to be watchful because our Nigerian police now are now a tool used for corrupt malpractices. And that is because they make themselves to be used. They made themselves so cheap and easy to be used. They submitted themselves and they made themselves a part and parcel of the criminals. 
And Nigerian police are now a part of criminals. They now discharge drugs, supply ammunitions. They now rob. What are they not doing? The most corrupt force in Nigeria is the police force. I'm telling you, is the Nigerian police force the most corrupt? So I am not surprised. See what they did during the COVID-19. I used to say it, that any police officer that didn't build a house, that didn't build a house in that period, in that COVID-19 period, didn't work well. The least that a police officer will collect from you during that period of COVID-19 is 500 Naira, if it catches you with, with no face mask. Hmm. They are too corrupt. And it's a pity that even the one we call the governor of Imo State, Uzodema, cannot be able to check his state properly. Cannot be able to check his state and check his people and help his people and free his people from unnecessary. He cannot. Well, I'm not surprised because the seat that he is, he didn't win the seat. He came in with force. So that's why he's ruling the people with force. Taking unnecessary actions. Actions that, that, doesn't, that doesn't matter. You see that? So is that not strange? Is that not strange? Police officer just invade a secretariat and arrested people just like that. And nobody have a say. <laughs> it's too strange. It's too strange. My dear viewers, here you can see the injustice we are talking about in Nigeria. You can see what what we what Nnamdi Kanu is talking about that there is need for a division in this country. Because the injustice practice in this country, Nigerian, is way above. I'm telling you, it's way above. And the best thing to do to put away this unnecessary that has been happening is to divide. Let the sleeping dog that line. Let everybody go its own way. Let everybody go its own way. Because it's becoming too much and unbearable. Do you understand? If nothing is done, I'm sorry. You'll be amazed at what is going to happen. I keep saying it. Yeah. You'll be amazed. Well, um, let me hear you speak anyway. What's your take on this news? Give it free to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.